Good morning. It's, uh, it's great to uh, be batting uh, cleanup here today. Um, first, let me start by saying uh, I'm honored to stand here with the Attorney General of the United States, uh, the U.S. Attorney, and the FBI Director to announce the charges today in this important case. And I'm incredibly proud uh, of the work, the tremendous work, of my agents at the IRS Criminal Investigation Division. Uh, years of hard work, um, and uh, that work is not done. Uh, today is a good day for soccer fans, and it is a great day for the global fight against corruption, money laundering, and international tax evasion. Whether you call it soccer or football, the fans, players, and sponsors around the world who love this game should not have to worry about officials corrupting their sport. This case isn't about soccer, it's about fairness and following the law. FIFA's official slogan is for the game, for the world, but the co-conspirators in this case corrupted the game for the sole purpose of personal gain, not for the game and certainly not for the world. As the best financial investigators in the world, IRSCI special agents exposed complex money laundering schemes, uncovered millions of dollars in untaxed income, and discovered tens of millions of dollars hidden away in offshore accounts in countries like Hong Kong, the Cayman Islands, and Switzerland. This really is the World Cup of fraud, and today we are issuing FIFA a red card. <laughs> this investigation is not over. IRSCI special agents will continue to work with our partners at the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, and will work with our international partners around the world to bring justice to those who would cheat the financial system and who play by a different set of rules. Today's indictment and our criminal investigation will root out those who seek to corrupt the beautiful game. Thank you. All right, questions.